Welcome to this VM Zinc Reba accredited CPD Zinc as a building envelope. This is what we're going to cover. These buildings all feature Zinc Greenwich Millennium Village, Boathouse Cambridge University, Islington Housing Association, and Ripple Retreat Scotland. This is a satellite image, but of what? An aerial image of Paris. The Arc de Triomphe is in the centre. Clearly you can see that the main colour from above is grey. That is because most of the roofs in Paris are covered with zinc. 95% of all metal used in Paris for roofing is zinc. The nature of the architecture chosen by Baron Haussmann in the middle of the 19th century combined with the colour and availability of zinc made it the ideal material. Much of this architecture required roofs to have a slope of 3 degrees. This is still the minimum slope for zinc roofs as built. Going below this slope greatly increases the chances of water ingress and staining and is not recommended. Paris and St. Bartholomew's Church in Liège first ever zinc roof fitted in 1809. Zinc ore is relatively common. The richest areas are Peru and Canada, but zinc mines do also exist closer to home in Ireland and Sweden and up until 1949 in the North Pennines. Traces of zinc were even found in the ruins of Pompeii. VM zinc has been produced continuously since 1837. Prior to the 1970s, all zinc sheet produced was mill-finished natural zinc. Furthermore, older zinc had more impurities, such as cadmium. This can sometimes give the zinc a whiter aspect, visible in this photo. Cadmium has been eliminated from zinc for almost 50 years now. Zinc was not only used in the redevelopment of Paris, but was also widely used in the UK for civic buildings, railway stations, King's Cross facade, etc. in the 19th century. However, zinc's use in the UK, unlike in continental Europe, remained quite limited and indeed almost disappeared entirely by 1990. Zinc production and sustainability. Approximately one kilogram of titanium and copper are added to 999 kilograms of special high-grade zinc, EN988, in order to improve the tensile strength and creep resistance of the material. The mixture is heated up in an oven before being hot-rolled into a continuous slab. The zinc is then rolled down to the necessary thickness. Zinc used in the UK is usually between 0.7 mm and 1.5 mm. Zinc is a non-toxic element, Zn, and required by all living organisms, an essential element. Due to electrolysis taking place at room temperature, less energy is required to produce zinc than other metals. The BRE Environmental EN15804 gives an expected life of 100 years for a zinc roof. At the end of a life, with limited maintenance, zinc is 100% recyclable. Some recycled zinc is then used for roofing applications, but much is also used for galvanizing, brass production and zinc oxide used in skin creams. The Picton Reading Room Dome, Liverpool, was built in 1879 using zinc. After 133 years, many of the zinc panels were needing to be replaced. However, much of the original open gap boarding was kept due to good design and installation. While the vast majority of the original design was kept, 21st century regulations meant that panel width had to be reduced and standing seams were incorporated between the batten caps. Current corrosion rates are less than 2 microns per year. A sheet of zinc is at least 700 microns thick. Aesthetics of zinc Zinc can be chemically treated to give a wide range of different aspects, but always with a hint of grey. Natural zinc was the only option until 1978. Natural zinc is shiny but forms a patina when it reacts initially with water and then carbon dioxide. After 3 to 10 years, an even middle grey patina is formed, but it takes time for this to become uniform and many building owners are not that patient. Pre-weathered light grey zinc imitates naturally weathered zinc through a phosphatation process and changes very little over the lifetime of the roof or wall. Whilst pre-weathered light grey zinc is not a painted finish, it is closest to RAL 7037. 
examples of light grey pre-weathered zinc, Borough Viaduct, Winchester House, and Seven Oaks School. Pre-weathered dark grey zinc was first created in 1978 as a complementary flashing and gutter material for slate roofs. Its dark grey aspect has made it very popular for both wall cladding and roofing. Zinc would never naturally patina to a finish as dark as this zinc. Whilst pre-weathered dark grey zinc is not a painted finish, it is closest to RAL 7021. Engine Shed Sterling Murphy's Construction HQ, London Pre-weathered zinc can be used in the same way as a natural mill finish zinc, whether it be for roofs, walls, using various techniques or even gutters. Seen here at Cardiff Point and Bourne Estate, London. Blue, red, green, brown and now grey are pigmented finishes. The mineral pigmented zinc range is not a painted finish. Rather, it is more like looking at light grey pre-weathered zinc through tinted sunglasses. The surface colour is created by adding mineral pigments to a durable pre-weathering, which is then sealed with a protective coating, creating beautifully organic red, green, blue, brown and grey pre-weathered zincs. It can be used for the same applications as natural, light and dark grey pre-weathered zinc. Examples shown. Glasgow Hospital, an architect's office in the USA, and Southampton Hospital. Godson Street in London uses all finishes. Job-specific mineral pigmented finishes are an option when the minimum order is three tonnes. These colours illustrate some of the possibilities, but bespoke colours are possible. Light grey pre-weathered zinc is the base, so darker colours are best. Bespoke pigmented green. Body Shop brand relaunch. Oxford Street, Bond Street Store, global rollout. Engraved zinc combines a mechanical treatment with a chemical treatment and can be used in the same way as all other zinc finishes. Examples include Maxwell Centre Cambridge BDP Architects, Shrewsbury Renovation and Seymour Street by Eric Parry Architects. Engraved zinc can be used in the same way as all other zinc finishes for both roofing and wall cladding. Volks Railway, Brighton, Modular Build and the Maxwell Building in Cambridge by BDP Architects. A metro map of product innovation over 183 years.